Hey boys, Auntie Justine back again with 5 Minute Bible Stories. I'm so excited for this one because it's the final short story in the saga of Jacob and his 12 sons, one of which being Joseph, who they sold into slavery into Egypt. Then he rose to be number two to Pharaoh and helped Egypt through the famine. Well, we're going to continue hearing about this whole story in Egypt and see what happens during the famine. Let's jump in. The brothers come to Egypt. The famine was bad in Canaan too. And Jacob and his sons didn't have enough to eat. Jacob sent all of Joseph's brothers to Egypt to buy grain. Only the youngest brother, Benjamin, stayed behind. The brothers were brought before Joseph. With his golden chair and his fine clothes, they did not recognize him, and they bowed down before him. Joseph couldn't help but remember the dream he had so long ago. Joseph wanted to see if his brothers had changed, and so he decided to test them. First, he told them to come back with Benjamin. Then, when they did, he sent them off with sacks full of corn. But before they went, he hid a silver cup in Benjamin's sack. The brothers were traveling home when guards came and dragged them back to the palace. When the cup was found in Benjamin's sack, all the other brothers fell to their knees and begged him to punish any of them, but not Benjamin, for his father's heart would break. At this, Joseph knew that his brothers really had changed. He hugged them and told them who he really was. Don't feel bad, he said. God sent me to rule in Egypt so you wouldn't starve. The brothers were overjoyed. They rushed back to tell their father the good news. And Jacob gathered up his belongings, his herds and flocks, and he and all his family traveled to Egypt. Joseph came to meet him in a great chariot, and father and son were joyfully reunited. 